Hi, Jaden. No. Okay. Welcome to the vlog. Hey guys. So, I have a parenting issue and I'm really not sure what to do about it. So this is my problem. Jaden has been going to this school. It is very near to our house. It made sense that he went to that school. It is a public school. Now, this is my problem. In the time that he's been going to that school, he really has not been enjoying it. He has been getting bullied. And not just like the regular type of kid bullying, but things having to do with the race as well. He's been called the N-word a couple of times, more than a couple of times. The kids seem to be extremely crude. And uh, we, that's been weighing on me for uh, the two years that he's been attending that school. And if you're wondering, the reason why I didn't take him out sooner was because this is the way the world is. It's not like, you know, just because things are going wrong doesn't mean that, you know, I need to pull him out. I need to show him how to deal with his issues and deal with other people that don't have the same views as him. And uh, that has been the reason why he's really stayed. You know, of course, I speak to the school staff and things like that. But um, it's been difficult, needless to say. Like, every day he comes home, there's a new story about a new kid that's doing something. And I tell him to tell the teachers, but it comes to the point where he can't tell the teachers everything all the time. Like, you know, and it's just been very difficult. And we have been struggling. And it's really hard to see your child suffering like that when you're not and I use the term suffering loosely but you know just being having to put up with that kind of stuff so I'm Catholic I was baptized Catholic I went to a Catholic school and um, I'm not like you know extremely religious or anything like that but I, my, I, I fall back onto my faith quite a bit um, in the time that we have been dealing with the school's issues. Um, Jaden has been quite interested in uh, the Catholic religion and he asked me to pray and he partakes. And um, he once came home and said to me like, mom, I wanna go to the Catholic school because I feel like the children that believe in God will behave better. They will, basically he was trying to say they would hold themselves to a higher standard. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I do know that when your child says that to you, it's hard to hear, you know? So with that being said, um, I should also tell you guys that one of my really, like something that I always wanted to do with Jaden was make sure he's in French immersion. We live in Canada, French is the second um, language here. And I, I know the opportunities that he will have by being fluent in French. So that's why I chose to put him into the public school because he wasn't baptized yet and because I knew he would be learning French. Now, with the change of schools, if that's what we do, which is what this video is about, uh, he loses the French immersion aspect. And so I'm kind of at a crossroads because you know, it's possible that this new school might be a better fit. The children might might be better, not just because they're at a Catholic school, but just because they're a different set. The culture could be very different, you know, all these kinds of things that go into it. 
and it might be a better choice for him emotionally to put him in this school. Now, with that being said, he loses the French immersion, which I don't want him to lose. And as a single mom, you know, I'm looking at the prices for putting him in French externally because I'm like, okay, well, maybe we can do this and see how that is at the new school and then put him in French externally. Like, you know, I had friends that went to Polish school once a week or Spanish speaking school once a week on the weekends. Um, the prices are astronomical. They're astronomical. Like I would be putting myself at the edge just trying to fulfill that knowing that I really want him to have the skill of being able to speak French fluently. So I'm at a crossroads. Do I pay about a thousand dollars to put him in French once a week? for the duration of the school year for one hour on the weekend, but put him into a new school which might be a better fit for everybody? Or do I keep him in the school he's in, try to teach him to be tough and strong and ignore what people say and continue that ongoing struggle that we're having there and have him in French five days a week? I know that there's always gonna be people in his life that are gonna be mean. There's always going to be people that are racist. There's always going to be people that oppose him all throughout his life. And I know it's up to me to teach him how to be a good person and how to deal with these situations in the right way. You know, and I, that's what I've been doing for the last two years relentlessly. So I'm just at a crossroads. I don't know what's the right thing to do. Um, if you guys comment below, tell me what you would do. Tell me your thoughts. I'm really interested to find out um, what you guys all think. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Hopefully you guys have some opinions that I can weigh because I'm not really sure exactly what to do in this situation. What do you think, Jay? Well, I think... Yeah. I think I should go to the other school. Yeah. Yeah. You you know that even if you go to the other school, you're still going to be learning French no matter what. Yeah, but, but at least I can get some people to be nice, and I'm I'm with my friend, so we yeah. can like you know how we can have each other, so we can like help too. Right, right. And he told me all about the school, so it's, that's why I don't think there's any bullies at that school. There's going to be bullies at every school, baby love. Every do you know like, Well, I mean, I... I don't know for sure, but I mean, I've never heard of a school that didn't involve at least one bully somewhere. They may not interact with you, but they're definitely going to be somebody that might bully you. That's a possibility. Just because you go to the new school doesn't mean anything will change. It's just that that's what we're hoping for. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, guys, comment down below. Tell us what you think. I'm just curious what other parents might think. Like, my son's nine, but I'm still a first-time mom, and I'm just trying to do the best thing. So let me know what you think. Thanks for coming to the vlog. See you guys later. Bye. Hello. <laughs>